Guys, what's going on? Martin Murray wins a uh, points decision um, against Pavanito. Uh, he fought a light heavyweight. And, you know, Martin Murray is not even a... He, was, he came down back down to middleweight after going up to super middleweight. So, you know, I think this was just a keep busy fight for Martin Murray. He was on the MTK IFL TV, you know, live on IFL TV. So it wasn't... It was just... I think Martin Murray had retired. I think he had given up. But these guys find it very difficult to give it up. They say they're going to give it up. But, they, they, you know, boxing is very addictive. They want to come back um, and, and fight. You know, Martin Murray... In my opinion, let's talk about this fight first. You know, so Pavanito, Murray came out very aggressive, uh, landed some good shots. Um, in the fourth round, Pavanito started, you know, fighting back, uh, started trading. Uh, Murray just looked a lot better, uh, a lot more skillful. And then, um, you know, towards the end of the fight, in the ninth round, Murray stunned him, hurt him, um, and. You know, Pavanito managed to survive, um, and, and Murray won a quiet convincing points decision but let's talk about murray martin murray martin murray's been somebody that in my opinion has been hard done by uh he's had four attempts at the uh, world title and i think he's been very unlucky not to win one a very very tough man a very very hard man and a very good fighter i think he's not the most skillful guy in the world but he's he's a very very tough man and a guy, in my opinion, that deserved to win a world title. I think he was more deserving than Darren Barker. And no disrespect to Darren Barker. I think Martin Murray was probably more deserving and probably a better fighter than Darren Barker. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, he didn't have the rubber the green. You know, a traveling man, a man that fought everywhere. You know, fought all the top fighters in their own country. Didn't really give a crap. And he was a proper fighting man, proper tough man, Martin Murray. But like I said, I just don't think he had the rubber the green. Uh, go his way and that was the reason why Martin Murray in my opinion wasn't able to become world champion but definitely a good fighter um, a fighter which I don't know whether what he does next he fought at light heavyweight but he's not gonna fight at light heavyweight if he wants to have you know some meaningful fights because I think light heavyweight is too big for him um, I think this was just a tick over fight so yeah I think it's gonna be interesting to see what Martin Murray does is he gonna go to super middleweight is he gonna try cutting down go to middleweight because Maya Murray is quite a big middleweight, so the fact that he's had some time off, if he's, he's getting on in, in age, is he going to be able to make middleweight? Who knows? And super middleweight, I think, is probably a little bit too big for him, some of the guys at super middleweight. So, you know, it's going to be interesting to see what Martin Murray does, but he's a guy that I've admired over the years. I think he's uh, a guy that's had no luck go his way, and, um, and I think he should have been a world champion. I think he should have been a world champion. What did you guys make of his performance? Do you think... He can fight for a world title somewhere down the line or do you think it's too late now for Martin Murray? Leave your thoughts and guys remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.